locked in the game. Always a special day on the calendar. Champions League final day, and it's a privilege to be bringing the game to you. My name's Derek Ray, joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. The atmosphere is building to fever pitch just minutes away from kickoff time. It's Paris Saint Germain taking on Liverpool. Well, we started with 32 teams, Derek. Seems like an eternity ago. Now we're down to the best two. I've not played in the Champions League final. I surely wish I was playing tonight. Turn the clock back and let me run out there, please. final of the UEFA Champions League it's where everyone wants to be only two sides can accomplish that feat and Lee it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight well it is it's the big part here it will be after the game but as players it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away and that's the job of the senior players in the dressing room but also the coach look around your team see the calm ones have a word with them get them to pass the message on stick to the game plan go out and win the game The Champions League final commences. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Keylor Navas begins in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Neymar plays with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And up front, Kylian Mbappe plays with Mauro Icardi up front. So the starting lineup for Liverpool. Alisson begins in goal. Virgil van Dijk plays alongside Joe Gomez in central defence. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Verratti. This is Thiago Silva. Vernat being pressed hard. Neymar really is up there amongst the current greats in the world game. Lee, as far as this match is concerned, what should we expect from the Brazilian? Well, when you're playing against a player, sometimes you're trying to look at what his qualities are. Is he a good hold-up player? Is he quick? Is he this? Is he that? But when somebody tells you he's a finisher, you know you're in big trouble. Mane. Di Maria. This is Neymar. Neymar. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And they do like to press whenever they can. And space on the wing for Liverpool. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Just a matter of thumping it away. And he might be through here. It has to be, surely. And still an opportunity. Well, it came to nothing in the end. 
Well, what a stop that was, Derek, to keep it all square. Still don't know how he kept that one out. Icardi must take the lead here. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Mauro Icardi here. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Icardi. Opportunity to take the lead. And the ball is in the net. Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. Henderson. And a throw in forthcoming. Marquinhos. Verratti. Neymar. And Neymar. He's in behind. Putting them under the cosh. The goal then for Paris Saint-Germain. The first one of this Champions League final. Oh, they've got the noses in front. Can they stay there? Now the other team are playing catch-up. Well, take a look at this again. No finer sight than watching a player catch a volley so, so sweetly. Look where it ends up. It's a beautiful goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. The opening goal of the game then. It's with Roberto Firmino. And he read it well. Tilo Keira. Idrissa Gay. Neymar. It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. And take it away. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Marquinhos. Now with Keira. Trailing as they are. What will be the thinking in the camp as you see it, Lee? Well, so far, I give it... It's going to be Neymar! And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging for someone to get on the end of it. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Going their way, 2-0. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, PSG comfortable all over the park with this possession. And what that does, it just relaxes the team. If you've got the ball, you enjoy the ball. And they're turning it into goals as well. Aimed towards Mbappe. Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper. Opportunity it is. Offside the decision. Not a huge chunk of added time, one minute. 
Henderson. Fabinho. Sadio Mane now. Well, possibilities in the centre. Surely, can they cover up? And you need your defender to take charge. And that is that for the first half in this Champions League final. And my goodness, Lee, did we think it would be so lopsided. Well, I didn't, and there's one team very happy in that... Into the second half, then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Mane. Wijnaldum now. Roberto Firmino. And he read it well. Firmino. An example of a goalkeeper on top of his game, Lee. Well, that is genius. Absolutely genius. So the corner played into the box. No one able to do any damage with it. Being pressed hard. Can they hit on the break? Di Maria. Can he take the chance? I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. There to take it away. And out of play for a Paris Saint-Germain throw-in. So, making the substitution now. Di Maria. Roberto Firmino. Milner. Mane! It looked as though he was in, but credit to the defender, Lee. Yeah, he hassled him, made his hurry shot there. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Alexander-Arnold. Fabinho now. Oxlade-Chamberlain. Mbappe, and he's made headway. What a crucial intervention inside the box. Fabinho. Andrew Robertson. And he's in. He's got acres of space. Milner! Well, he's missed it, and you have to be opportunistically when you're chasing a game. Two goals down. You've got to take chances like that, Derek. They've lost possession, Paris Saint-Germain. Mane. Here's Firmino. Oxlade-Chamberlain. Chance to make a game of it here. Could be. Well, it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper. Inside the last quarter of an hour. And space for the cross. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. So a throw in here.
Joe Gomez. Milner looking for Mane. Oxley Chamberlain prepared to fire. I don't think in the grand scheme of things he's going to be terribly proud of that headed attempt. Well, heading practice in training next week, that was pretty average to be fair. Mbappe. Based on that challenge, you wouldn't be at all surprised if the referee reaches for his pocket. The referee has deemed that to be a bookable offence. Absolutely. Agree with that one. And the goalkeeper not offering any scraps that time. Alexander Arnold, a good effective pressure high up the pitch. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Can he finish this? A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality, quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. Alexander Arnold. Here's Oxley Chamberlain. Fabinho. Roberto Firmino, Milner, losing possession. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Might be a chance here. Surely, a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, that's like the other end, the striker putting it in the net. The goalkeeper has to keep it out, and what a brilliant way to do it. Played into the centre of the box. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Full time! Parisian pride shines through. PSG have cleared the final hurdle in the Champions League. Well, almost no words are needed. You just look down at the celebrations, the relief after the final whistle. Commiserations to the other players, but it's a celebration time now. All that sacrifice and commitment and desire to win a trophy and they've won the biggest one. Absolutely brilliant. This is what Paris Saint-Germain have been targeting for a good number of years. It's official now. They are PSG, the best in Europe, Lee. Well, breathe it in. Breathe these moments in. How many times you get the chance to stand on a podium, let alone pick that trophy up. Deep breaths from the captain just before he actually puts his hand on this famous trophy. The cup with the big ears, as they sometimes call it, and it's the property now, for this year at any rate, of PSG. Well, they've been celebrating long into the night with their friends and family, and quite rightly so. It'll be a late night, Derek, I'm sure. A fantastic feeling for all concerns as they drink it in. The cup with the big ears, as it's affectionately known. And this is the moment, Derek, sharing it with the supporters. You get a chance to take it a little bit closer to those stands. Let them enjoy the experience with you. And the families are up there in the stands as well. A brilliant occasion. It took fire as well as ice on the pitch. Necessary qualities. Now the chance for a photograph. My mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors.